Man. It's fine. We back, baby. It's the Weekly Dog Sports Band Podcast Show. It's your boy Mac on Scott the Man Russian. And I'm East Ali, the man Taylor Street. And uh, man, this segment of the show is Bears Talk. Bears Talk, the Bears. Bears, so man. So Sunday, Bears played Cleveland. <laughs> Close game, blew a 10 point lead. It was the third playoff game, third game, playoff games. We said we've been in the playoffs for a minute now. We did pretty good. We had two in season wins. <laughs> At least I had an in season win. I got to see a team might have been the wrong sport, but with an in season game, that really didn't matter. It was the best. I'm proud of you, best. Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all put up a fight, but the season is definitely over. Season definitely over. And uh, how you feel, Not man? Almost over. We still got three percent chance, America. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. We got a three percent chance. We got a three percent chance. So that I mean, infamous ninth game, though. That infamous ninth ninth game was lost. Yeah, that ninth game is out of here, and it's it's, it's very disappointing. I mean, I, I feel like he was just asking me how I feel. I feel, you know, as bad as I felt, you know, all of seasons that was, <laughs> it's over with, you know. So it was one of those, you know, it was it was it's a it was a tough one. It was, this one was tough. This one was, was very tough. I'm glad we didn't do this yesterday or the day before because I had a lot yeah. to say. Right. So I, I kind of calmed down, you know, a little bit. I don't want to <laughs> be too, you know, go crazy. And, um, but I'm, it was a good it was a good game though. It was a great game plan for three quarters. You know, yeah. a great a great game plan for three quarters like normal. It's not the first time this happened, you know. Well, we have a great game plan for three quarters in the fourth quarter. I don't know what happened. I don't know. They start sniffing cocaine or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like even from some negative. They was drinking 40 ounces, like Mike said. Man, I first got to Chicago, they was doing cocaine at halftime. I don't know what happened, but it reminded me like, it reminded me of Madden or something. They like, reminded me like Madden players, like, you know, you play, you get cocky, play defense, the same defense every quarter or good where you're going to stop when they decide to go to like a dam or something and then you get bombed. That's what happened yeah. with the Bears. And then the off- offensively, I was never excited about what we was doing offensively. I, I want to just make that yeah. clear. The reason why I'm, I, I'm, I feel bad because of how good of my our defense played minus yeah. the fourth quarter. You know, but offensively, I hate the game plan from the beginning of the game. I'm talking about yeah. I didn't like None of it, like right. zero of it. The whole game plan could have just been erased completely out. I didn't like anything. Offensively, about the game plan. You offensively, I didn't like not one. I didn't like the the double shotgun handoff, the one where yeah. he had shotgun. Oh uh, 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 yeah, I didn't expect. I just say this right here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect the offense to change. It's been off. It's been offense all year. We've been playing a lot of games, and I didn't witness how the offensive coordinator call a lot of games. So I'm. Familiar with him calling a crappy game. Mm-hmm. Um, the game's over and we lost. A lot of things happened. Could have went left, could have went right. Should have went left, should have went right. Should have kicked, should have threw. All of that. It's over with. Looking forward, though. Moving forward, I want to say. Even a matter of fact, we could go back. Because, man, two weeks ago, I was happy to talk about the past. You know what I'm saying? The defense was trending up, you know. The offense, Justin Fields was back. He was in mode. We was he was we he won a few games. I was excited, but now that you know, I done got my little two minute train ride, two minute uh quick uh, shot of the McCaskey Kool Aid. It's, so it, it's over with. It's like you know? a little left. It's like yeah. a little bit left. It's, it's over. With. I think I drank the last swallow. Keep the refrigerator. But I took the Bears <laughs> on the line. But these next few games, I hope be exciting. You know what I'm saying? We playing for pride at least. It's still a blue collar city. We in our blue today. So we should be wearing black, but it's really Chicago Bear Blue. We in our blue today because we know the season over. But we still want to see our team represent with some pride for these next couple of games. They actually the favorites to win in Arizona this week. So they they like, man, minus two. They minus two hundred to win. They like plus five and a half. So I mean they uh minus five and a half. So obviously we've been we've been playing good. Now, the decisions at the end of the season to Justin Fields or not to Justin Fields to fire the coaches for sure. I'm pretty sure both coaches should be handed pink slips. At least our offensive coordinator for sure. 
and about how the defense will look this week. I want to say the deep, the, uh, the coach and slash defensive coordinator, he added that too. And um, I'm still excited, though, to see what we're going to do in the offseason. There's going to be a lot of talk about the quarterback. Should we trade our quarterback, draft the quarterback? Should we keep our quarterback and draft the quarterback? It's going to be interesting. But I know one thing, we better walk out of there with an uh, A1 wide receiver and an A1 defensive lineman. And I don't care about what we do at quarterback. You know, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still with keeping Justin Fields all day. Like, I have now that this is over with, I like what I'm seeing from him. I definitely feel like that was a lot of offensive game plan as for him, um, preventing him from being the best Justin Fields he could be. You mean to tell me a Flacco could do what he do with the game plan? I was watching, I was looking at the plays that um, Safansky was um, drawing up, you know, and he was drawing up plays like they was running out and somebody else would come through and then they had all, uh, it was just picking up. <laughs> They, they had a lot, of, a lot of trickery things. Man, they look good while when we catch the ball. While we're, we're have, we, we can't even get to a yard. We can't even get a yard on first and goal. Like the offensive game plan was horrific. Justin Fields didn't even have an opportunity to, for, for me. The only time he had an opportunity is when he got out the jam and made his own plays. Everything was all about Justin Fields making his own plays. If there was a game plan, the game plan is not set for him. So if we keep it, it's either we keep Gassy. Like, either they going to keep Gassie and get another quarterback, or we keep it Justin Fields and we get rid of Gassie. And then I don't know goes, why we can't get rid of them both. I mean, like, well, I mean, that should be, I, I all I'm saying is that should be an option too. Either way, the only option, the only thing that you said that, that should not be an option is keeping Gassie. Like, that's that should not be an option. The other the other thing, right? That's out of here. That's over. I mean, maybe yeah, I, I, I can could, roll. I can roll with Keith. Well, I feel like he should be going. Like I'm hoping that he be going. This I would prefer them to just start over right now and see who else can develop some type of pattern right now and get rid of guess he's now. I don't even waste no time. Why we? Why? Why do we have to wait to the end of the year? We already see what he can do. Let's see what Justin Fields yeah. has. If we gonna get an offensive coordinator anyway, we might as well start over. Let's let's put somebody in the intern. You know, and see if they can run some better play. I, I just mm -hmm. feel like we might want to start this process now, especially if Justin Fields is on the clock. Because he don't been on the clock with Gassy. We're going we gonna to lose this dude that's talented. This dude is talented. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm seeing it. He threw a bomb. Mooney should have caught that ball. Yeah. Tanya should have caught the ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't have two interceptions. He had really zero interceptions. That was two Hail Marys, and so they should kick the field goal. You kicked the field goal. I was screaming that all in the game. Well, if he can't, if the kicker say he can't kick it, he can't kick it. So I, 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 I went, I went the, I went the, I went the hell, man. So he said yeah. that he actually. I mean, the kicker, that's they, they know the Bears not that incompetent. Well, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a routine that go on, and that's one of the things the coach got to make sure they know how far they. I seen Tom kick Brady with five seconds know how to get the ball out of bounds with three seconds. Of that's, that's Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. I seen Michael Jordan. That's float, plays, though. That's play caller, too. But I'm saying that's play caller. I seen a lot of teams, if you got six seconds, you yeah. don't go for a helmet right there. You can see if you can get two, three more yards. If you got a 33 yard line, yeah. 37, you can get a couple more yards and get out of bounds real quick. They already going deep for the helmet anyway and got one second. Yeah. If you want to, if you want a 4340 and a 40 yards, then you can get. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Arguing. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Arguing. I'm, I'm with you. With Two guys got I feel like a lot of plays should have been called different. You know, but at this point, <laughs> I feel like Justin Fields should have made some plays too. You know what I mean? I feel like he left a lot of plays on the field too. He was nervous from the beginning. The the gloves. He started off the game with some gloves. Then he took the gloves off. He never really did. He never really did get comfortable in the pocket or in the game. They got a lot to do with play calling. Ball it was starts, just, yeah, second and it was, we run the ball, we lose a five yards. It was, it was typical Bears. It was typical Bears offense that I've been seeing all year. Typical Bears defense that I've been seeing all year. And typical Bears that had a lead. I'm just mad that I didn't capitalize on the money line because it happened three times. They say third time the charm. But three times the Bears been winning games in the fourth quarter by double digits. And the other team, money line was like plus 500, plus 600. And I didn't jump on a damn time, and I'm just kicking myself. That's why I look like I'm at a funeral in my Chicago Bell Blue, because they keep giving us the money, and we keep not taking it. Me personally keep not taking it, but I'm on the lookout. Arizona, I'm on the lookout. I'm on watch. Is these Bears beat down or not? I'm focused in on that game, 
and I'm hoping for a Bears lead and an Arizona comeback. And with that being said, that's my high note for Bears talk. <laughs> hey, good season, Bears. You know, but let's keep playing high defense. I'm loving what the defense has been doing. I want us to continue to keep, you know, striding. I want us to win out still. Let's go 8-9. You know, it don't matter. I want to see progress now. I'm tired of seeing these crazy seasons where who wants to lose games and nah, I don't care. Six and whatever, I like to win games. You know, even if we don't make the playoffs, that's show that we is on the up rise, you know what I'm saying? So now let's keep them, keep get Harrison, you know what I'm saying? Get uh, another tight end or a, a, a lineman or, you know, we can, man, you know, we could give our pick up. And get two probably first round picks. You never know for that number one spot. Yeah, do that trade. We, we don't need a quarterback. Do that we move. <laughs> yeah, we and in the free agency, we get offensive line. We we get the motherfuckers that approved. They already they already proven that they was a great offensive lineman, but they want that money. That's when we spend our money on free agency. Get the. I think, I think the line been looking pretty good this year. I ain't gonna even lie. I really like how the line been playing this year. We was running the ball. Playing, man. That's more than play you calling, know. coaching. You know, we don't. I, I know for I, I don't know what this a. If we are, but I feel like we the worst first down team I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, like, I, can I, ain't, I ain't never ran the ball I was four yards and five yards sure. so many different times. Oh, get a false start. I'm Our first sure. down situation is, is, I ain't never seen nothing like it, though. And I feel like we always, that's not Justin Fields' fault all the time that he got to start off with first and 15, first and 18. Yeah, I'm you the high test. I say we in the bottom percentile. Bottom five, six teams on first downs. <laughs> oh, we can never have second and seven, third and four. We never yeah. just always behind the sticks. <laughs> but man, bash talk. <laughs> so lot to say, man. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over, man. Maybe we'll have a better, uh, have a better <laughs> output next week. But yeah, this, this man, is definitely Arizona 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 I might take Arizona. Hey, <laughs> At least the points. Hey, you know what I mean? All that don't play. Y'all know what it is. It's bad talk. Let's get to these rules, man. That's fine to see red. Yeah. Yeah.